Yes, uh, just looking at these uh, commercial laws, mm -hmm. the, that law which applies to the rights and relations of people engaged in trade or commerce. Oh. <laughs> then there's a commercial paper, yes, a written document serving as money. Ooh. <laughs> commercial paper includes bank checks, promissory notes, and other negotiable instruments for the payment of money. Yes. <laughs> Now, um, I'm just concerned because I have informed law enforcement. I sent them videos from June 16th of 2017. Yeah. But you decided to have a combination where you're going to completely disregard all commercial laws of any and all businesses because as hmm, long as you buy a dozen donuts, you can, you can own anything that's uh, actually commercially owned. Yes. <laughs> now, let's say I walked into the senior center. Some old boy has been buying donuts for the last 20 years, and pooch, he says, well, I actually own this place. I'm like, oh, uh -huh. well, if I looked at the actual tax revenue of the county, because as I understand it, the county built that senior center using grants and funds from taxation so that the senior population, yes, could have a place to go where they could dance, yes, they could use a computer lab, pooch. <laughs> But you and buying a, a dozen donuts seem to think that you own some place because you can eat any individual that happens to go in that place. Ooch. Let's look at commercial law for just a moment. Ooh. Did you think you own the senior center? Because as I understand the laws, anytime you tax the population to build anything that is considered a part of the government of a county, yes. You can't have ownership of it because you buy a dozen donuts, okay? Now, there's what's known as commercial paper, okay? <laughs> this is kind of a short-term paper. I was a stockbroker for quite a few years, and I understand these different legal terms as they apply to financial services. Yes, 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 yes. Now, let's just look at the actual debt of the county. <laughs> you bought a dozen donuts thinking you could eat the police department. You could bribe every one of them to have me put in a mental institution because they won't inform the court that I wasn't in Brennan, Washington. Yeah. And they're all saying, well, it's not against the law. We don't have to say anything unless we're subpoenaed. Pooch. But I think it's unlawful. It's a local conspiracy to deprive Americans of their equal rights. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Now, I'm sitting here having told you for the last fucking year, and you're sitting there eating a dozen donuts because some senior thinks that he's the Nazi communist that has ownership of this whole county. Oh, now, I would say that each and every bribe of every donut eaten, yes, <laughs> violates commercial laws. Pooch! Who owns the police department? Oh, the sheriff's department, sheriff? Uh-huh. Do you know where I was at on June 16th of 2017? Because as I remember it, I was sitting here that morning. Yes. I actually did look at the logbook of the computer lab and I had signed in that day. Yes, he did. I wasn't in Brennan, Washington. Right. But you, as a, a county, or should I say Nazi communist, uh, said, well, we've got to go the way of the senior, and for a dozen donuts, you know, $10,000, we can have ownership. Ah! Now, when I look at the commercial laws for each and every one of these seniors that said, well, this is the way we did it for the last 50 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any buying of any commercial business without an actual signed contract and sale of that commercial business is a type of conspiracy. Yes to uh, institute Nazi communism in the United States of America. Oh, oh, oh. Now, there was Hitler. You remember that guy? Fruits kind of short. He had a little mustache. Yes, yes, yes. He really did a humdinger there in, Ger in Europe, didn't he? I mean, he wasn't happy just being in Germany. Pooch tried to take over France. Yes, he did. Up, England. Up, up. But there was also Mussolini. Pooch. Was he the Italian? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then there was uh, there was another guy there, I think uh, Mussolini, and then there, I'm sure I'll, I'll remember, it wasn't Houdini, he was one of these escape artists. Yes, he was. <laughs> you know, World War II didn't happen just because of one individual. There was a group of leaders that thought, well, we're going to take over the world. <laughs> we're going to make everybody socialist, communist, and they're all going to work for us, the seniors, and we're going to have a infrastructure where nobody has any commercial rights protected. Yes. <laughs> No one has any actual right to the ownership of their individual bodies. Yes, because we're going to fuck them all. Pouch! 
and then uh, we're going to keep this under our hats so that nobody has any idea what the fuck is going on! How's that dozen donuts today? Mm -hmm. Because uh, for every day that you made me sit here because you wouldn't inform the court that I wasn't in Brendan, Washington, <laughs> I'm going to fuck over every cop. Now, when are you going to stop playing Nazi communism, hmm? Mussolini? Ooh, look at a bald man that has a lot of tattoos. Oh, my God, way. Somebody's been shaving the head of the... No. No, no. <laughs> do you shave your own head or do you have somebody do it for you? <laughs> you know this combination where I send you millions of emails informing you that my rights are being violated and you decided to establish Nazi communism as the de facto ownership of every business and every government department. Pooch! And for some dumb fucking reason, you think that I want you to put me in a mental... <laughs>